also now popular, which honestly, I'm really glad that they're popular now because people now get it. But I'm also annoyed because I got made fun of for liking puzzles for so long and being a huge puzzle fan. And now, like, why'd I have to suffer for now people to hop on um, this train? And also puzzles are now really expensive. So anyways, luckily I have a lot of puzzles to do and I thought instead of just doing a puzzle, my friend Quest gave me the idea to do a puzzle challenge. Um, so I can complete a Ravensburger 1000 piece puzzle like such. Ravensburger is my favorite puzzle brand. But I thought I have nothing at all to do. What if I try to do a Ravensburger 1000 piece puzzle in 12 hours? 10 o'clock, I will be starting this puzzle and my goal is to complete it by 10 o'clock tonight. So in 12 hours with no help. The puzzle is my top priority. So just how the first couple hours go will really determine how leisurely this can be of an experience. I'm going to start my 12 hour timer and I'm gonna get going. You should give them some tips, Savita, as you're going. If you're the puzzle master, you have- a Okay, is that lame giving people tips. puzzle tips? Well, actually now that, okay, wait, I'm, I'm gonna start my timer. Oh God, this is scary. What if I can't do it? That'll be really embarrassing if I first find the edges, obviously, like I feel like that's a pretty like standard, you start with the edges type thing. But what I do is I have an, I have the puzzle box open right here with all the pieces and I have the top here. I try not to look at the top and I'm going to sift through all of the thousand pieces. If there's an edge piece, I'm gonna put it out. But if it's not an edge piece, I'm gonna put it in this empty top. Okay, here's my question. There are pieces like this that are like put together in the box, which I try to usually break them up. There, you, Do I break it up or do I just? Yes, you fucking break it okay, up. Okay, I'm breaking it up. I'm breaking it up. I'm breaking it up. I'm not cheating. We're doing this. But you're gonna do something, you gotta do it right. If there's a piece or two missing, I don't go through all of the other pieces and look for them. I, you know, as long as you have most of the edge together, that's all that matters. Um, I feel like it's kind of a waste of time to look, to spend so long looking for like one or two pieces of edge. Um, I usually just start the puzzle and you'll find the edge when you find the edge and you'll put it together then. I'm going to assemble the edges, that won't take really long. Once my edges are done, I will go to the cover and pick one thing to just start with and I kind of do this throughout I'll just go section by section um, I'll pick something that I feel like will be easy to find so, and I think that just picking three three patterns or three colors uh, makes it really easy to just go through and pick them out I don't just put random pieces on the table I feel like that gets really chaotic and is not the most efficient way to do things and I would say I've done about 20% of the puzzle I am already like I mean, I love doing puzzles, but I'm tired and I'm kind of over this. So I said to me, I said to mix it up. As I look for more pieces, I will talk about some of the stuff I've been watching. Before the quarantine officially started, um, I actually went to see two movies. I saw Emma and I saw Invisible Man. Emma was fine. Um, I'm glad I saw it. It was like something to do. I didn't dislike it, but it wasn't super... Like, tell, tell them what I did in Emma. Oh, Raina fell asleep. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be looking down because I'm going to be getting new pieces because I cannot, the grind does not stop. That was cringy. It's more cringy, as you call it, to say that was so cringy <laughs> than it would be to just say what you were going to say. But sometimes I say passion. stuff without really thinking about it. And then I'm reacting to it. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, I just said that. Like, that was. But I'm just letting you know, I cringe at you saying <laughs> that was so cringy more than I cringe at whatever it is that you're reacting to. Okay, well, luckily, I don't speak for your satisfaction, okay? That's a very good point. However, I feel the, the moral I'm trying to say is that I don't think anyone would care. I don't think anyone would think it was cringy if you didn't say it was cringy. You know who I think is cringy? You. Anyways, like I was saying, Invisible Man was a must-see. Um, I don't really watch what would be considered like scary movies. Even Invisible Man was 
And so it was pretty scary. I don't watch scary movies because I'm a very verbal person. Um, and when I ever do see scary movies, especially if it's in theaters, when it's like dark and it's really loud, um, I tend to make noise like shrieks and just other embarrassing reaction noises. People tend to be embarrassed by how loud I am. Um, but I did go see Invisible Man and actually I did very well. I only closed my eyes like twice. It was also just really well done. The plot was super interesting. For those of you who don't know, it's about basically a woman who's torn. Don't spoils it. I guess the trailer spoils it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't gonna spoil it. I was gonna tell you what it was about. Oh, about okay, a woman okay. being tormented by something that she can't see. I like movies where you think about them. Like they're kind of a mind trip in the sense that like you leave and you're like, what? How can I comprehend what I just watched? And the more you think about it, the more into it you get. Being with my family, we've been watching a lot of movies and it's been really fun. And it's been really nice to catch up on all these movies that I haven't seen. So some of the best movies that we saw, my favorite one was probably Honey Boy. Newest film with Shia LaBeouf that was an Amazon Prime like original movie. It was awesome. I think he wrote, he did write it. It's about, it's like an autobiographical, fictional, like it's, it's a movie based on his life. Not only was it really well done, but I thought it was crazy as someone who, like I grew up watching even Stevens and this whole film is kind of about his own childhood or it's based on his own childhood um, growing up as a child actor. Seeing this other side to this iconic actor that I grew up admiring and feeling connected to, it's really interesting to see this whole other side of him. And I just have a lot of respect for him. I thought that it was really well done and really vulnerable. Um, the Adjustment Bureau, it was just the corniest film that I've seen in a really long time. I think it was honestly the writing. It was partially them, but it was a lot. The, the storyline and the writing was just so crazy. The movie that we started that we didn't even get into was the new Netflix original movie. That was called The Last Thing He Wanted with um, Anne Hathaway. No, oh, that was a... Stinker. Yeah, as Raina puts it, that was a stinker. <laughs> <laughs> so I've watched two TV shows, or no, three TV shows during this break. Not fully, but the first one, which I recommend a thousand times over, is Shrill. I was very impressed with A.D. Bryant. I never thought she was that funny in SNL. Like, she was kind of, I didn't think she wasn't funny, but she's never been someone that I was like, wow, like, I really think they're hilarious. But this show, I see her in a totally new light. I think she's super impressive. She's clearly very funny. The show's very funny. I've seen what she can do, and it shows me that like SNL is not her full is not matching her full potential. But yeah, it's been it's been a fun time. I'm gonna get back to puzzling. I just did a big portion while talking about this, which is really exciting. And I would say I'm a, probably 30 to 40 percent done. And it, let's see how much time I have left. I have nine hours and 14 minutes left. I have eight hours and 20 more minutes left of my puzzle, but I'm actually in a really good place. I'd say I'm honestly like halfway through. So I've, I've worked for like four hours now, right? Yeah, but I'm taking a break because I'm at a good place um, because Raina made me lunch. Ooh, it will look better when I play. When delicious. I play it. What's in it? It has caramelized onions, two different types, a little bit of mushrooms, um, some cabbage, sun-dried tomato, a very small bit of roasted pepper, and um, feta. Delicious! Thank you, Reina. I took a very long break, mostly because I was tired and I wanted to, but also my back hurt and I needed food and I just needed to get some other stuff done. I still have five hours and 15 minutes left but I definitely feel like based on how much I did this morning, I'm gonna get it done. I wouldn't have taken as large of a break that I did, but I felt like I had gotten so much done this morning that I could afford to waste some time. How do I explain it? I'm just, I'm so over this. I 
love puzzles so much, but my back hurts from leaning over the table and I just want to like do something else and I'm hungry. I have three hours and 44 minutes left. I'm definitely going to finish, but I feel like I could, t I can, I could take a break right now, but I kind of just want to get it done and not have to do this anymore. <laughs> um, I just finished. I'm honestly like, I don't know the last time that I felt this happy. Um, I finished with two hours and 39 minutes to spare. When I was working, it was actually really stressful because I knew that the timer was going and I was like, go, 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 go. And it was hard, but I'm really happy that not only did I finish, I finished with a lot of time to spare, and I happened to do a puzzle that doesn't have any pieces missing, which a lot of my puzzles actually do, um, just because I do them a lot. So life is really good. I'm really excited that I did this video. Thank you to Quest for giving me the idea. I've had a really, I've had a fun day, even though I'm really tired and like was so over it, I've had a really fun day. So yeah, I'm really excited to not do a puzzle tomorrow. I can't believe I, I don't think I've ever said that. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching.